All right, so we're checking out the Ghost 6 3D printer from Flying Bear. And I did a video on their previous version of the Ghost 5 uh, a while back. I'll link that in the uh, video description if you guys want to check it out. This one here is a slightly smaller um, version. It's an obviously enclosed build plate here with a front door and a top cover. I'll explain what that's for here in a second. But uh, overall footprint is a lot smaller than the Ghost 5. But it's got the same size build plate. It's a... 255 by 210 by 210 millimeters and it has the same setup where the the build plate will go down as the print uh, progresses and the extruder stays in the same spot whereas in, on some other printers the extruder will move up I guess they call this a core XY type of structure and then um, the build plate will actually go down as the print builds up they did make a few modifications, improvements to this design. They moved the uh, filament roller to the side here instead of being on the back. And on the back now is just the uh, uh, port for the power plug. So some complaints on the Ghost 5, the <laughs> swapping out the filament was kind of a hassle on the Ghost 5. You had to actually turn the printer all the way around. Now it's on the side, a lot more convenient. It's got the same filament runout sensor here, so if the filament breaks or runs out, of course it'll stop the printing. This top cover here is removable. You can pop that off. It's optional if you don't want to use it, and uh, mainly it's for keeping the heat uh, from you know, from escaping. Uh, so for those of the you guys that are printing higher temp filaments like ABS or uh, carbon fiber nylon, for example, you want temperatures up, uh, you know, around the 250 mark uh, that's what this covers for I don't particularly I don't use it because I don't I don't print any of those filaments I mainly just print TPU so not needed for that so things like TPU and PLA uh, the cover is not necessary however having that on it does uh, keep it a little bit less noisy but this printer is actually already pretty quiet it has uh, these TMC uh, 2225 drivers are really 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 silent and the only noise that you're going to hear is are from the uh, fans from the extruder, the dual fans from the extruder. That's the only noise that you hear. So in terms of the uh, way it's shipped and how to put this together, it's like 95% built out of the box. Comes very well packed with a bunch of foam, holding everything in place so nothing's rattling around. The only things you have to actually install are the extruder and the extruder motor here. You have to install that as well as the filament tube and the uh, roller on the side for the filament as well as the, the filament runout uh, sensor here on the side and uh, the front door. So that's pretty much it in terms of the installation. It takes, I don't know, not very long. It took me about 15, 20 minutes to put everything together because as I said, it's, it's, you know, it's like 95% built. Whereas on the Ghost 5, it required quite a bit of assembly. This one basically take it out of the box and just a few things to attach and you're pretty much ready to go, which is nice. Here's a closer look at the uh, build plate. It's a glass build plate. It's got a little bit of a texture to it and uh, the prints stick very well when this is heated and uh, come off pretty easily after the, heat, uh, the, the bed has cooled. I haven't had any issues with this, this uh, build plate. It's very nice and it's working out really well. It's going to be a little hard to see here, but the uh, extruder motor is a dual gear driven system here. So it, uh, I've had any issues with it skipping or any sort of extrusion problems. This is a pretty good solid product. It's proprietary. Uh, this is not something that's off the market. It's something they've designed and it works pretty well. But you can see here the overall extruder body here is a lot of plastic parts. It's not all metal. One of the downsides of this printer, especially if you're dealing with higher temperature filaments like ABS and nylon, um, the maximum temperature of this one is about 250 Celsius. So if you need to go higher than that, uh, this is not the model for you. Again, for my particular needs, uh, PLA and TPU, this extruder has been totally fine and was working out really well. And another downside of this model is that it does not have auto bed leveling. You do have to go the old school way and do the you know the screws here on the bottom and do the manual um, bed leveling but you know it's not a big deal uh pretty easy to do it takes roughly 
uh, 10 minutes to um, level the bed and you know once you do that you're pretty much uh, good to go. So similarly like on the Ghost 5 you do have a touch screen here on the Ghost 6. They moved it here to the side and it's pretty easy to reach and then you can hit the print menu and you get some stuff that's on the micro SD card. Um, obviously your other settings here of course. Now this one does have Wi-Fi uh, capability like the Ghost 5. However, if you're using Cura uh, 5.x or greater, uh, the plugin system on Cura 5 is different so that at the MKS plugin for the Wi-Fi, I was not able to get it to work on Cura 5. I think that's just because um, the people that made the plugin, the Wi-Fi plugin, have not updated their, their plugin for Cura 5. It does still work on Cura 4, but I did not test that with this particular model. Uh, I believe when I did the Ghost 5 review, uh, the uh, I ran it on Cura 4 with that MKS plugin and Wi-Fi printing worked just fine, but I was not able to get it to work here on Cura 5. So it'll probably work in the future once they do the um, update for the uh, plugin, but as of today, I was not able to get it to work. But, you know, you can, of course, go the old school route and just use the micro SD card. And that is included. Just shut all that back and forth between your com computer. Just put the G code files on here once you export them out of Cura. And, and of course, that works totally fine here in the situation. So another downside of this printer is that there is no preset model in Cura for this particular model. Uh, there was one for the Ghost 5, but apparently it's not out yet for the... Go 6 on Cura 5. So you do have to set up the model in Cura manually. There are instructions in the uh, manual that explain how to do it. You have to put in all the uh, little settings and numbers and everything like that. I just, I just put them in verbatim. It did take a little bit of time to manually type all that stuff in and you have to make sure you're careful and make sure the numbers are correct. So double check your settings. But once you do that, um, the model is, is functional. It works fine. I did have to get the uh, filament profiles from um, Flying Bear. They sent me sent, sent those to me. So you have to probably ask them for those on their support site uh, for your particular filament type. I got them for TPU and PLA. And once I imported them into Cura, um, everything worked just fine. And the in terms of the quality of the prints here, here's a, uh, an example. This is an Action 2 mount that I printed. Um, on, on the Ghost 6 and the quality is very good. Uh, it's better than average I would say. Um, and I didn't uh, tweak any of the settings whatsoever. The, everything, I just I just used the uh, settings that they provided and I got pretty good results out of the box without any tweaking or modification. You know the prints come out very clean, not a lot of stringing at all and just pretty much just pull it off the bed and you know, put on your model. As you can see here I'm I mainly use this printer, uh, printer for TPU, custom TPU parts for drones, and uh, for those of you guys that use T um, you know, 3D printers for uh, printing drone uh, 3D prints, uh, this is a pretty good setup here overall. I mean, you know, it's um, not too expensive, it's about $320, give or take, you know, obviously the price will vary depending upon where you get it from, and also coupon codes, you can get this directly from Flying Bear. That is also available on AliExpress and also on Amazon. And again, the prices will vary depending on which, when you're watching this video and when you click on that link. Uh, but if you know, it's a pretty good printer in terms of like setup. It's like I said, 95% built out of the box. Very few things you need to put together. Um, obviously, like things like uh, other printers like Creality or might be a little bit cheaper, but they're going to probably require a lot more. Uh, knowledge in terms of assembly and could be a little more tricky in terms of getting uh, the setup correct. Uh, again, but you know, those printers will have a preset model in Cura, whereas this one didn't. It wasn't terribly difficult to do, you just follow the instructions in the manual. It's just a little bit of a hassle that I wasn't there. Maybe in the future, when you if you're watching this video, that um, those models, those preset models, will be in Cura. Uh, but as of today, they weren't, they, weren't, they weren't there. It was a little bit of a downside, but overall not a huge deal. Price is reasonable for this setup here and the quality of the prints. Uh, you can definitely get printers that produce higher quality prints out of the box. Um, like I think Flash Forge is one brand, but those are 
those printers are closer to three times the cost of this one, around $1,000. And I'm not really sure if it's worth it for that much more in terms of price. You definitely can go cheaper if you are more of a DIY person um, uh, and can do a lot of the tweaking yourself. I think a lot of the Creality printers are sort of in that segment. But yeah, overall, pretty happy with this one. Going to be continuing to use this. This is actually my main printer now. I have like five printers, and this is one I, I use the most. And I'll, uh, you know, I guess in the next 3D printer review I do, I'll give you an update on this one if I'm still using it or not. But overall, I can recommend this one. It's a pretty good one, and I'm pretty happy with it. That'll do it for this video. Talk to you guys in the next one.